now Nitin Gadkari is filing for his nomination from the city of Nagpur, that is his parliamentary constituency. Big road show ahead of Gadkari nomination as well as you can see on your screens right now. We'll go across to our reporters for the very latest on that. But Nitin Gadkari, Union Minister, filing his nomination today from Nagpur constituency. Pictures on the left side of your screen in Coimbatore, BJP State Chief in Tamil Nadu is filing for his nomination. Anamalai in Coimbatore and Nagpur is seeing the nomination being filed by Minister Nitin Gadkari. Take a look at this ground report. मंत्री और सांसद नितिन गडकरी को बीजेपी ने फिर एक बार चुनाव मैदान में उतारा है आज नितिन गडकरी अपना चुनाव नामांकन जो है वो पर्चा दाखिल करने जा रहे हैं आप लीगल सेल स्ट आप बैक लॉयर्स प्लान कोर्ट स्ट कोर्ट स्ट अगेंस्ट अरविंद केजरीवाल अरेस्ट दाई कोर्ट सेट वी कान स्टॉप दैन फ्रॉम कमिंग टू कोर्ट The right to legal fight is a fundamental right, is what the court essentially has said. The Bar Council has slammed Amadmi Party's legal cells agitation or stir that they are launching. Getting in details as far as developments from the court here is concerned. More news coming in. Let's go straight to these developments from the Delhi Assembly session. Now, fiery Delhi Assembly session expected today. First Delhi Assembly session after the arrest of the Delhi Chief Minister. Expect pandemonium over Chief Minister's arrest set for Aam Aadmi Party and BJP face-off on the floor of the Assembly. BJP to protest jail, say Sarkar model, up to flaunt governance push from model. That is what is expected today. Shishtioja getting us more details on that story. Expecting a pandemonium over Arvind Kejriwal's arrest in the Assembly. But talk to us a little about what has happened in court as well. What has the High Court said about the stir organised by the Aam Aadmi Party Legal Council or Legal Body Association? Shishti. Well, yes, Neha, as we know, the Aam Aadmi Party Legal Cell had released a call for uh, a lawyer's protest against... Uh, the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal by the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, a lawyer had then approached the Delhi High Court seeking action uh, and seeking a stay on any such protest, saying that such protests cannot be organised inside court premises. There are set Supreme Court judgments precedents which uh, clearly say that such protests cannot be organised inside court or even near the court premises. The case was mentioned today before the Acting Chief Justice of the Delhi High Court uh, who has warned the Aam Aadmi Party legal uh, cell uh, of consequences if the court work is stopped due to um, any such protest that they're planning to organize. The court has refused to grant any stay on the protest today. The court has decided to hear the matter tomorrow. The letter petition which has been filed by the lawyer while uh, also clarifying that right to protest or right to approach court in this case is a fundamental right which cannot be taken away by the court. If they want to protest, they are free to do that. However, common people should not be stopped. Uh, the court work should not be stopped. And if the uh, protests take place, uh, they, it will be uh, at their own peril. The Aam Aadmi Party legal cell will have to do that uh, at their own peril. However, if the uh, if the protest is conducted inside the court premises or near the court premises in a way that it affects the work, then there will uh, be serious consequences and the court may also take action. So it will be important to see now whether the Aam Aadmi Party legal cell uh, will go ahead with the protest today, how many lawyers would be joining in and what uh, what's also important here is that the Bar Council of India, which is also an important body of uh, lawyers uh, and the legal fraternity, has also also opposed uh, any such protests which are uh, 
you know, being conducted today. But the Bar Council of India in its press release has clearly stated that lawyers, they have said that the lawyers should not join in in such a protest call considering, uh, first of all, there's a political angle to it because the person arrested is leader of a political party and uh, a chief minister. Also, they've clearly <coughs> the Bar Council of India in its press statement has also clearly stated that uh, uh, such uh, protests are not meant for lawyers. Lawyers should not be part of such a political situation and should not participate in these protests. Also uh, stating that the court has in itself also validated Arvind Kejriwal's arrest uh, and remand in a way because the, remember it was the court, it was uh, it was the Rouse Avenue court which had sent Arvind Kejriwal to enforcement, enforcement directorate's custody. So the court has in a way validated his arrest which is why the protest should not be conducted and lawyers should not participate as what the Bar Council of India has also said. So uh, it will be important to see if uh, the power legal cell still goes ahead with the protest today. How many? बाहर निकलने से रोका जा रहा है प्रोटेस्ट के अंदर पुलिस बर्बरता कर रही है यहां तक कि जर्नलिस्ट के ऊपर भी पुलिस हाथ उठा रही है एक जर्नलिस्ट का हाथ फ्रैक्चर हो गया एक जर्नलिस्ट के गले पे हाथ आपने देखा वरिष्ठ पुलिस ऑफिसर ने डाला ये सब लोग तानाशाही की जो पराकाष्ठा है उसको पार कर रहे हैं देखिए लगातार आम आदमी पार्टी पे दबाव बनाने की कोशिश है कि मुख्यमंत्री गिरफ्तार उप मुख्यमंत्री गिरफ्तार मंत्री गिरफ्तार संजय सिंह गिरफ्तार अब किसी तरीके से आम आदमी पार्टी की सरकार को गिराने की कोशिश चल रही है विधायकों पे प्रेशर डालने की कोशिश चल रही है मगर ये आम आदमी पार्टी के विधायक हैं ये डरेंगे नहीं झुकेंगे नहीं रुकेंगे नहीं और आप देखोगे आने वाले दिनों में पूरा भारत अरविंद केजरीवाल की गिरफ्तारी के खिलाफ खड़ा होगा All right, so these are pictures, in fact, coming in, and we'll go across to those pictures in a moment from now. These are the pictures on your screen from the Delhi Assembly, where a dharna is on. Remember, it's the first day of the session, after first session rather, being held after the arrest of the Chief Minister. So expect pandemonium in the house. On your screens are pictures from the Assembly and also previously when Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal on the 22nd day of March before he was produced in court. Aap is of course going to talk about the fact that Arvind Kejriwal continues to work from the jail. BJP is going to say this is unconstitutional. Expecting Shristi a great deal of pandemonium in the Assembly as well today. Shristi, expect a great deal of pandemonium at the Delhi Assembly today, even as that matter plays out in court. सभी विधायक संघर्ष कर रहे हैं प्रदर्शन कर रहे हैं आज इस देश में लोकतंत्र को खत्म करने की कोशिश की जा रही है आज इस देश में एक एक करके सभी विपक्षी पार्टियों के नेताओं को जेल में डाला जा रहा है बैंक अकाउंट सील करे जा रहे हैं पार्टी ऑफिस सील करे जा रहे हैं इस देश के इतिहास में पहली बार हुआ है कि एक सिटिंग चीफ मिनिस्टर को गिरफ्तार कर लिया गया है वो भी नेशनल इलेक्शन की घोषणा के बाद ये इस देश के इतिहास में पहली बार हुआ है कि एक राष्ट्रीय पार्टी के राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष को गिरफ्तार कर लिया गया है वो भी चुनाव की घोषणा के बाद तो आज ये बिल्कुल साफ है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल की गिरफ्तारी एक लोक इस देश के लोकतंत्र पर हमला है All right, we'll go back to in fact Shristi Oja who continues to be with us. Shristi, as far as the assembly is concerned, expecting pandemonium in the house even as that matter continues to play out in the court as well with the high court coming down heavily on the legal side of the arm. Well, yes, some crucial developments that we are expecting from, uh, uh, from the courts today, specifically the Delhi High Court where Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has moved challenging both his arrest by the ED and also the subsequent remand. So not only has he challenged the arrest by Enforcement Directorate, he's also challenged the court's order which based on that arrest by ED decided to send him to six days custody of the Enforcement Directorate. Now, uh, today the Enforcement Directorate sought some time from the High Court to reply to Arvind Kejriwal's plea saying that they were not served with a copy of his petition. They were served with a copy very late last night and hence they will need some time to reply to his plea. However, 
Arvind Kejriwal's lawyers have called it delaying tactics on part of the enforcement directorate according to senior advocate AM Singhvi who was uh, appearing for Arvind Kejriwal today before the high court no need of reply there's no absolutely no need for the enforcement directorate to reply to Arvind Kejriwal's plea because in his case he's challenged the basic fundamental grounds of his arrest the basis of uh, the basic fundamental of his arrest and the remand order has been challenged so the court has to decide on whether the arrest rest was legal and in this situation ed uh, has uh, there's absolutely no need for ed to file the reply or for court to rely on ed's reply so uh, mr singhvi has pressed for a hearing today he told high court uh, the high court was initially inclined to give enforcement directorate more time uh, to uh, uh, reply to uh, mr kejriwal's uh, petition however mr singhvi pressed for a hearing today and the court will in some time hear what mr singhvi has to say on on behalf of Arvind Kejriwal what we have however exclusively learned is uh, are the details of the petition uh, that has uh, that has been filed by Arvind Kejriwal where he has sought immediate delhi aur pure desh mein jo tana shahi bharatiya janata party lai hai ki chunav ke dauran alag alag partiyon pe chhape mare ja rahe hain ha लोगों को अरेस्ट किया जा रहा है मुख्य पुतला आ गया यहाँ पर ये देखिए पुतला लेकर आ गए हैं आम आदमी पार्टी के विधायक ये पुतला यहाँ पर लेकर पहुंचे ये क्या पुतला है ये क्या पुतला पुतला है तानाशाही का पुतला भारतीय जनता पार्टी का पुतला और इस पुतले को हम जला के आज पूरे देश में मैसेज देना चाहते है की तानाशाही नहीं चलेगी गुंडागर्दी नहीं चलेगी ईडी शाही नहीं चलेगी जाहिर है तो आपने सुना सौरभ भारद्वाज को वो लगातार यहाँ ये पुतला लेकर पहुंचे हुए हैं गिरफ्तारी जिस तरह से अरविंद केजरीवाल की हुई है उसे असंवैधानिक बताते हुए अब यहाँ पे पुतला दहन किया जा रही है देखिए आग लगाई जा रही है यहाँ पे तमाम जो विधायक है वो मार्च करते हुए बाहर निकले और अब आग लगा दी गई है पुतला दहन किया जा रहा है दिल्ली विधानसभा के सामने इस वक्त आप तस्वीरों में देखे तो आम आदमी पार्टी के विधायक पहले समर्थन में उतरे फिर विरोध के स्वर में नारे लगाए और अब विधानसभा के बाहर पुतला दहन किया जा रहा है आम आदमी पार्टी लगातार आक्रमक है भारतीय जनता पार्टी और जांच एजेंसियों के खिलाफ और अब ये तस्वीरों में नजर आने लग रहा है क्योंकि पिछले एक हफ्ते से लगातार आम आदमी पार्टी चाहे सड़कों पर प्रदर्शन करना हो चाहे पीएम आवास का घेराव करना हो वो नारेबाजी करते हुए हिरासत में जा रही है और प्रदर्शन कर रही है तस्वीर देखिए यहाँ पे पुतला दहन कर दिया गया है आम आदमी पार्टी के विधायक नारेबाजी करते हुए इस वक्त दिल्ली विधानसभा ऐसी बाहर निकले आज विधानसभा का सत्र बुलाया गया और ये देखिए ये पुतला दहन कर दिया गया है ये देखिए यहाँ पे पुतला दहन कर दिया गया है आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से सौरभ भारद्वाज कह रहे हैं कि सौरभ क्या ये पुतला दहन किया आपने बताइए हो बर्बाद हो बर्बाद ये ताना चाही का पुतला है भारतीय जनता पार्टी की गुंडागर्दी का पुतला है जिस तरीके से चुनावों के दौरान चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्रियों को जेल में डाला जा रहा है हमारे हर नेता के ऊपर छापे मारे जा रहे हैं पार्टियों को तोड़ने की कोशिश की जा रही है आज तानाशाही का पुतला दिल्ली विधानसभा के बाहर हमारे विधायकों ने बजाया चलिए यहाँ पे देखिए ये देखिए यहाँ पे आप समर्थक जूते मार रहे हैं पुतला को और आम आदमी पार्टी कह रही है कि ये तानाशाही का पुतला है जिसे जलाया गया है एक्शन में तमाम आम आदमी पार्टी के विधायक इस वक्त यहाँ पे नजर आ रहे हैं लगातार कोशिश है की केंद्र सरकार की एजेंसियों का विरोध किया जाए नेहा Pictures, in fact, on your screen are from the protests that are going on at Delhi Assembly right now. It is the session without the Chief Minister. In the first session after Delhi, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal was arrested. BJP is, in fact, also protesting and uh, asking the Chief Minister to resign. Aap says that look at the Chief Minister is even working from jail. Even is is in fact running the government from jail is what the Aap essentially is saying. These are pictures coming in. from delhi assembly expecting more pandemonium in the house as it convenes today first in fact uh, pictures coming in from the delhi assembly right now of uh, aam aadmi party leaders also on uh, dharna the bjp demands the resignation of the chief minister the aam aadmi party says the chief minister is even working from jail remember two orders at least have been passed by chief minister arvind kejriwal 
from jail. He continues to be in the ED lockup. AAP has said that he will be running the government from jail. BJP says it is unconstitutional and that he must resign. Developments in court today as well, with the High Court coming down heavily on the legal cell of the AAP for organizing a stop. Today is the first Delhi Assembly session after Chief Minister Arvind K. Jival's arrest, expecting further pandemonium inside the House. Over the Chief Minister's arrest, set for an AAP, BJP face off on the floor of the Assembly. BJP to protest, jail se sarkar model, AAP to flaunt governance push. From jail. Can't sleep? It's <gasps> alien! Ye mattress nahi. Get the Sleep Company mattress. India's only patented smart grade technology with 2500 plus air channels that keeps you cool. The softness that relaxes pressure points and firmness that supports your back. Visit our nearest store now. Human rights. ED failed to establish my guilt, says the Delhi Chief Minister in a plea. And we have the details of the same. We'll be going across to Srishti. For more on that, ED violated my human rights. Srishti is with us for more details on that. That's a plea by the Delhi Chief Minister saying that my guilt was not established. On what basis have you put me under detention? That's the question, Srishti, that the Delhi Chief Minister is asking in his plea. Get us more details. Well, yes, clearly Arvind Kejriwal in his petition has questioned the grounds on basis of which he was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate because according to him, ED has still now uh, failed to establish his guilt in any way, failed to establish his association with the proceeds of crime or with the alleged money laundering associated to the Delhi excise policy scam. So according to Mr. Kejriwal, ED basically has nothing, no grounds of arrest, no evidence against him, but has still arrested him, which is why he's claimed that his arrest in its Self is against his uh, is not just illegal but against his basic fundamental rights. What's important here is to note that he has sought quashing, uh, he sought immediate release and also quashing of the remand order through which he was sent to six days custody uh, of the enforcement directorate. Immediate release from custody is what Arvind Kejriwal is seeking. Uh, again, he's also claimed political vendetta in this entire situation against him and the Aam Admi Party, specifically pointing out that all of this has happened ahead of the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. According to him, his arrest, his remand, his alleged involvement in the Delhi excise policy case is being uh, alleged only uh, to, in a way, uh, uh, make things go against the Aam Admi Party in the upcoming general elections uh, this year. He's also pointed out that he was arrested without any questioning because remember uh, over nine summons were sent to him uh, by the ED to appear before the probe agency but every time he'd called these summons illegal, had replied to them but had refused to appear before the probe agency. Now he's alleging in his plea that uh, the enforcement directorate, the fact that they've arrested him without even questioning him shows that all of this was preconceived it was pre-planned. They already knew uh, what they wanted to do exactly and uh, this, his arrest is basically not legal is what he's claiming. He's also questioned the High Court's decision to not grant him any interim protection because remember, he had before his arrest, a few hours before his arrest in fact, approached Delhi High Court and had asked the court to grant him some interim protection from any coercive action on part of the probe agency. The High Court, after seeing, after asking ED about the evidence that they have against him, had however uh, decided to not grant him any protection and a few hours later he was arrested by the ED and then subsequently was sent to ED's uh, custody. So he's also said that it's High Court's duty to protect its citizens and the High Court, which could have granted him interim protection back then, decided to not do so and he's therefore urged the court to interfere now and protect his fundamental rights. He's also sought some interim relief from court today as we know the hearing, a short hearing had happened in the morning where his lawyers had urged the court to hear the matter today itself because remember, enforcement directorate sought time 
uh, some time to reply to both his petition and also uh, the application that he is filed seeking some interim relief. The High Court was also inclined to grant some uh, time to Enforcement Directorate to file uh, its replies to Arvind Kejriwal's plea. However, Mr. Uh, Abhishek Manu Singhvi, appearing for Arvind Kejriwal, had uh, requested the court. He had objected to this course of action, in fact, and told the court that no reply is needed from ED in this particular case. The court is supposed to decide on the basic fundamental question of whether Arvind Kejriwal's arrest was uh, illegal. Arvind Kejriwal has challenged the basic fundamental uh, and the legal question of his arrest and the subsequent remand and while deciding that the court doesn't need ED's reply at all. Uh, additional Solicitor General who appeared for ED however opposed this particular submission by Mr. Kejriwal's lawyers and said that he'll also show why ED's reply is very important. Uh, but yes, Kejriwal, yes. Uh, Mr. Kejriwal's lawyers have maintained and told Delhi High Court today that these are dealing tactics on part of the ED. Uh, the hearing will happen shortly before the High Court and we'll know if uh, there's, there's, there's any scope of any relief for the Delhi Chief Minister from the Delhi High Court today. Back to you. All right. Thanking you for the moment. Rishi getting us those details from the Delhi High Court as that drama plays out in court as well. Now, soon after Arvind Kejriwal's arrest, his wife Sunita stepped out of the shadows. She released a video statement sitting in the same chair as the Delhi Chief Minister, declaring that her husband will sacrifice his life for the nation. Will she take on the reins from Arvind Kejriwal? That is a big speculation here. Take a look at this report. A day after his arrest, seated in his chair with portraits of Bhagat Singh and Dr. Ambedkar, Sunita Kejriwal read out a message from her husband. मेरी सभी माताओं और बहनों से अपील है, अपने भाई और अपने बेटे पर भरोसा रखो। ऐसी सलाखे नहीं जो आपके भाई और आपके बेटे को ज़्यादा दिन अंदर रख सके। मैं जल्द बाहर आऊँगा और अपना वादा पूरा करूँगा। Soon after this video was streamed, there has been endless questions on whether Kejriwal could hand over the Chief Minister baton to his better half or whether Sunita Kejriwal would take over as the Chief Minister. Sunita, a former IRS officer, has maintained a low profile for years, even as her husband quickly climbed the political ladder. She's been seen in some election rallies, even campaigning recently for Bhagwant Maan during the 2022 Punjab elections. Sunita Kejriwal does not hold any position in the Amadmi party and has never been in the political spotlight until now. As the only one meeting Kejriwal on a daily basis for 30 minutes, Sunita Kejriwal has access to the Chief Minister. And with her address in the exact same office that her Chief Minister husband held his briefings, the political buzz is speaking. Court star against Arvind Kejriwal's arrest. The High Court has said and we can't stop them from coming to court. The right to legal fight is a fundamental right, is what the court essentially has said. The Bar Council has slammed Ahmadmi Party's legal cells agitation or stir that they are launching. Getting in details as far as developments from the court here is concerned. More news coming in. Let's go straight to these developments from the Delhi Assembly session. Now, fiery Delhi Assembly session expected today. First Delhi Assembly session after the arrest of the Delhi Chief Minister. Expect pandemonium over Chief Minister's arrest. Set for Ahmadmi Party and BJP face-off on the floor of the Assembly. BJP to protest jail, say Sarkar model. Up to flaunt governance push from model. That is what is expected today. Shishti Oja getting us more details on that story. Expecting a pandemonium over Arvind Kejriwal's arrest in the Assembly. But talk to us a little about what has happened in court as well. What has the High Court said about the stir organised by the Ahmadmi Party Legal Council or Legal Body Association? Shishti. 
Well, yes, Neha, as we know, the Aam Aadmi Party legal cell had released a call for uh, a lawyer's protest against uh, the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal by the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, a lawyer had then approached the Delhi High Court seeking action uh, and seeking a stay on any such protest, saying that such protests cannot be organised inside court premises. There are set Supreme Court judgments precedents which uh, clearly say that such protests cannot be organised inside court or even near the court premises. The case was mentioned today before the acting Chief Justice of the Delhi High Court uh, who has warned the Aam Aadmi Party legal uh, cell uh, of consequences if the court work is stopped due to uh, any such protest that they are planning to organise. The court has refused to grant any stay on the protest today. The court has decided to hear the matter tomorrow, the letter petition which has been filed by the lawyer, while uh, also clarifying that right to protest or right to approach court in this case is a fundamental right which cannot be taken away by the court. If they want to protest, they are free to do that. However, common people should not be stopped. Uh, the court work should not be stopped. And if the uh, protests take place, uh, they, it will be uh, at their own peril. The Aam Aadmi Party legal cell will have to do that uh, at their own peril. However, if the uh, if the protest is conducted inside the court premises or near the court premises in a way that it affects the work, then there will uh, be serious consequences and the court may also take action. So it will be important to see now whether the Aam Aadmi Party legal cell uh, will go ahead with the protest today, how many lawyers would be joining in and what uh, what's also important here is that the Bar Council of India, which is also an important body of uh, lawyers uh, and the legal fraternity, has also also opposed uh, any such protests which are uh you know, being conducted today. But the Bar Council of India in its press release has clearly stated that lawyers, they have said that the lawyers should not join in in such a protest call, considering uh, first of all, there's a political angle to it, because the person arrested is leader of a political party and uh, a chief minister. Also, they've clearly, <coughs> the Bar Council of India in its press statement has also clearly stated that uh, uh, such uh, protests are not meant for lawyers. Lawyers should not be part of such a political situation and should should not participate in these protests, also uh, stating that the court has in itself also validated Arvind Kejriwal's arrest uh, and remand in a way because the, remember it was the court, it was uh, it was Delhi's Rouse Avenue court which had sent Arvind Kejriwal to enforcement, uh, enforcement directorate's custody. So the court has in a way validated his arrest which is why the protest should not be conducted and lawyers should not participate as was the Bar Council of India has also said. So uh, it will be important to see if uh, the power legal cell still goes ahead with the protest today. How many? बाहर निकलने से रोका जा रहा है प्रोटेस्ट के अंदर पुलिस बर्बरता कर रही है यहां तक कि जर्नलिस्ट के ऊपर भी पुलिस हाथ उठा रही है एक जर्नलिस्ट का हाथ फ्रैक्चर हो गया एक जर्नलिस्ट के गले पे हाथ आपने देखा वरिष्ठ पुलिस ऑफिसर ने डाला ये सब लोग तानाशाही की जो पराकाष्ठा है उसको पार कर रहे हैं देखिए लगातार आम आदमी पार्टी पे दबाव बनाने की कोशिश है कि मुख्यमंत्री गिरफ्तार उप मुख्यमंत्री गिरफ्तार मंत्री गिरफ्तार संजय सिंह गिरफ्तार अब किसी तरीके से आम आदमी पार्टी की सरकार को गिराने की कोशिश चल रही है विधायकों पे प्रेशर डालने की कोशिश चल रही है मगर ये आम आदमी पार्टी के विधायक है ये डरेंगे नहीं झुकेंगे नहीं रुकेंगे नहीं और आप देखोगे आने वाले दिनों में पूरा भारत अरविंद केजरीवाल की गिरफ्तारी के खिलाफ खड़ा होगा चलिए सर from the delhi assembly where a dharna is on remember it's the first day of the session after first session rather being held after the arrest of the chief ministers so expect pandemonium in the house on your screens are pictures from the assembly and also previously when delhi chief minister vin kejriwal on the 22nd day of march before he was produced in court aap is of course going to talk about the fact that arvin kejriwal continues to work from the jail bjp is going to say this is unconstitutional expecting srishti a great deal of pandemonium in the assembly as well today
Shristi expect a great deal of pandemonium at the Delhi Assembly today, even as that matter plays out in court. आज अभी विधायक संघर्ष कर रहे हैं प्रदर्शन कर रहे हैं आज इस देश में लोकतंत्र को खत्म करने की कोशिश की जा रही है आज इस देश में एक एक करके सभी विपक्षी पार्टियों के नेताओं को जेल में डाला जा रहा है बैंक अकाउंट सील करे जा रहे हैं पार्टी ऑफिस सील करे जा रहे हैं इस देश के इतिहास में पहली बार हुआ है कि एक सिटिंग चीफ मिनिस्टर को गिरफ्तार कर लिया गया है वो भी नेशनल इलेक्शन की घोषणा के बाद ये इस देश के इतिहास में पहली बार हुआ है कि एक राष्ट्रीय पार्टी के राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष को गिरफ्तार कर लिया गया है वो भी चुनाव की घोषणा के बाद तो आज ये बिल्कुल साफ है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल की गिरफ्तारी एक लोक इस देश के लोकतंत्र पर हमला है All right, we'll go back to. In fact, Shristi Oja continues to be with us. Shristi, as far as the assembly is concerned, expecting pandemonium in the house, even as that matter continues to play out in the court as well, with the high court coming down heavily on the legal side of the arm. Here, come here, Ajay sir. Here, come here, Ajay sir. Well, yes, some crucial developments that we are expecting from uh, uh, from the courts today, specifically the Delhi High Court, where. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has moved, challenging both his arrest by the ED and also the subsequent remand. So not only has he challenged the arrest by Enforcement Directorate, he's also challenged the court's order, which, based on that arrest by ED, decided to send him to six days custody of the Enforcement Directorate. Now, uh, today the Enforcement Directorate sought some time from the High Court to reply to Arvind Kejriwal's plea, saying that they were not served with a copy of his petition. They were served with a copy very late last night, and hence they will need some time. to reply to his plea however arvind kejriwal's lawyers have called it delaying tactics on part of the enforcement directorate according to senior advocate am singhvi who was uh, appearing for arvind kejriwal today before the high court no need of reply there's no absolutely no need for the enforcement directorate to reply to arvind kejriwal's plea because in his case he's challenged the basic fundamental grounds of his arrest the basis of uh, the basic fundamental of his arrest and the remand order has been challenged so the court has to decide on whether the Arrest was legal, and in this situation, ED uh, has uh, there's absolutely no need for ED to file the reply or for court to rely on ED's reply. So, uh, Mr. Singhvi has pressed for a hearing today. He told High Court uh, the High Court was initially inclined to give Enforcement Directorate more time uh, to uh, uh, reply to uh, Mr. Kejriwal's uh, petition. However, Mr. Singhvi pressed for a hearing today, and the court will in some time hear what Mr. Singhvi has to say. On behalf of Arvind Kejriwal, what we have, however, exclusively learned is uh, are the details of the petition uh, that has uh, that has been filed by Arvind Kejriwal, where he has sought immediate. Delhi and the whole country, the Tana Shahi Bharatiya Janata Party, has said that during the election, different parties are being arrested. People are being arrested. This is a big issue. 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 ये पुतला यहाँ पर लेकर पहुंचू ये क्या पुतला है ये क्या पुतला है? पुतला है तानाशाही का पुतला भारतीय जनता पार्टी का पुतला और इस पुतले को हम जला के आज पूरे देश में मैसेज देना चाहते हैं कि तानाशाही नहीं चलेगी गुंडागर्दी नहीं चलेगी ईडी शाही नहीं चलेगी तो आपने सुना सौरभ भारद्वाज को वो लगातार यहाँ ये पुतला लेकर पहुंचे हुए हैं गिरफ्तारी जिस तरह से अरविंद केजरीवाल की हुई है उसे आज संविधानिक बताते हुए अब यहाँ पे पुतला दहन किया जा रही है देखिए आग लगाई जा रही है यहाँ पे तमाम जो विधायक है वो मार्च करते हुए बाहर निकले और अब आग लगा दी गई है पुतला दहन किया जा रहा है दिल्ली विधानसभा के सामने इस वक्त आप तस्वीरों में देखे तो आम आदमी पार्टी के विधायक पहले समर्थन में उतरे फिर विरोध के स्वर में नारे लगाए और अब विधानसभा के बाहर पुतला दहन किया जा रहा है आम आदमी पार्टी लगातार आक्रमक है भारतीय जनता पार्टी और जांच एजेंसियों के खिलाफ और अब ये तस्वीरों में नजर आने लग रहा है क्योंकि पिछले एक हफ्ते से लगातार आम आदमी पार्टी चाहे सड़कों पर प्रदर्शन करना हो चाहे पीएम आवास का घेराव करना हो वो नारेबाजी करते हुए हिरासत में जा रही है और प्रदर्शन कर रही है तस्वीर देखिए यहाँ पे पुतला दहन कर दिया गया है आम आदमी पार्टी के विधायक नारेबाजी करते हुए इस वक्त दिल्ली विधानसभा से बाहर निकले आज विधानसभा का सत्र बुलाया गया और ये देखिए ये पुतला दहन कर दिया गया है ये देखिए 
यहाँ पे पुतला दहन कर दिया गया है आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से सौरभ भारद्वाज कह रहे हैं कि सौरभ क्या ये पुतला दहन किया आपने बताइए हो बर्बाद हो बर्बाद ये ताना चाही का पुतला है भारतीय जनता पार्टी की गुंडागर्दी का पुतला है जिस तरीके से चुनावों के दौरान चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्रियों को जेल में डाला जा रहा है हमारे हर नेता के ऊपर छापे मारे जा रहे हैं पार्टियों को तोड़ने की कोशिश की जा रही है आज तानाशाही का पुतला दिल्ली विधानसभा के बाहर हमारे विधायकों ने बजाया चलिए यहाँ पे देखिए ये देखिए यहाँ पे आप समर्थक जूते मार रहे हैं पुतला को और आम आदमी पार्टी कह रही है कि ये तानाशाही का पुतला है जिसे जलाया गया है एक्शन में तमाम आम आदमी पार्टी के विधायक इस वक्त यहाँ पे नजर आ रहे हैं लगातार कोशिश है की केंद्र सरकार की एजेंसियों का विरोध किया जाए नेहा Pictures and fact on your screen are from the protests that are going on at Delhi Assembly right now. It is the session without the Chief Minister in the first session after Delhi Chief Minister Arvind K. Jival was arrested. BJP is in fact also protesting and uh, asking the Chief Minister to resign. Aap says that look at the Chief Minister is even working from jail, even is, is in fact running the government from jail is what the Aap essentially is saying. These are pictures coming in. from delhi assembly expecting more pandemonium in the house as it convenes today first in fact uh, pictures coming in from the delhi assembly right now of uh, aam aadmi party leaders also on a dharna the bjp demands the resignation of the chief minister the aam aadmi party says the chief minister is even working from jail remember two orders at least have been passed by chief minister arvin k jival from jail he continues to be in the ed lockup aap has said that he will be running the government from jail bjp says it is unconstitutional and that he must resign developments in court today as well with the high court coming down heavily on the legal sale of the aap for organizing a stir today is the first delhi assembly session after chief minister arvin k jival the rest expecting further pandemonium inside the house over the chief minister's arrest set for an aap bjp face off on the floor of the assembly bjp to protest jail se sarkar model aap to flaunt governance push From jail. Can't sleep? इसीलिए ये मैट्रेस नहीं. Get the sleep company mattress. India's old which has been looted from them in the form of uh, you know uh, those who have uh, basically indulged in corruption in a uh, Bengal because of which assets and a lot of uh, uh, money has been attached by the enforcement directorate. He's working on legal options so that you know those assets can be detached and that money can be. इस बात पर भी केंद्र सरकार ने आपके सीएम पर केस कर दिया क्या ये लोग दिल्ली को तबाह करना चाहते हैं क्या ये लोग चाहते हैं कि लोग अपनी समस्याओं से जूझते रहें? इस बात से अरविंद जी को बेहद पीड़ा हुई है अरविंद जी ने मुझे एक बात और कही इस सो कॉल शराब घोटाले की जांच में ईडी ने पिछले दो साल में 250 से ज्यादा रेट मार लिए वो इस सो कॉल्ड शराब घोटाले का पैसा ढूंढ रहे हैं अभी तक किसी भी रेट में एक पैसा नहीं मिला मनीष जी के यहां रेट मारी संजय सिंह जी के यहां रेट मारी सतीन जैन जी के यहां रेट मारी एक भी पैसा नहीं मिला हमारे यहां रेट मारी मात तिहत्तर हजार रुपए मिले तो वो इस सो कॉल शराब घोटाले का पैसा है कहा अरविंद जी ने कहा है कि इसका खुलासा वे 28 मार्च को कोर्ट के सामने करेंगे सारे देश को सच सच बताएंगे 
कि इस सो कॉल्ड शराब घोटाले का पैसा है कहां उसका सबूत भी देंगे अरविंद जी बहुत सच्चे देशभक्त निडर और साहसी व्यक्ति हैं उनकी लंबी आयु सेहत और सफलता की कामना करना उन्होंने कहा है मेरा शरीर जेल में है लेकिन आत्मा आप सब के बीच है आंखें बंद करो मुझे अपने आसपास महसूस करोगे जय हिंद All right, that's Sunita Kejriwal, Arvind Kejriwal's wife, who asks. In, these are words of Arvind Kejriwal. She says this is what Arvind Kejriwal has conveyed to her, which she wants to convey uh, to the people. She says that Kejriwal has asked, "What exactly has he done? What is his fault that he will come out clean? Arvind Kejriwal is in jail, but is with you." These are words of Arvind Kejriwal conveyed to Sunita Kejriwal, his wife, as she addresses a press conference, saying that only seventy-three thousand has been recovered from our home when ED raided our home. Arvind Kejriwal will tell the entire nation where is the money for this so-called liquor scam. Arvind Kejriwal is a patriot. Wish for his health. Please pray for his health. These are words of Arvind Kejriwal conveyed to Sunita Kejriwal, who is just. given out this message to the people of Anmadi Aadmi Party and the supporters of Kejriwal the people of Delhi the state that aap governs this is a message from Kejriwal via Sunita Kejriwal let's hear it once again kal sham mein jail mein Arvind ji se milne gayi unhe diabetes hai sugar level theek nahi chal rahe लेकिन निश्चय दृढ़ है दो दिन पहले उन्होंने दिल्ली की जल मंत्री आतिशी जी को संदेश भेजा था कि लोगों के पानी और सीवर की समस्याओं का समाधान किया जाए बताइए क्या गलत किया लोगों की समस्याओं का समाधान तो होना ही चाहिए इस बात पर भी केंद्र सरकार ने आपके सीएम पर केस कर दिया क्या ये लोग दिल्ली को तबाह करना चाहते हैं क्या ये लोग चाहते हैं कि लोग अपनी समस्याओं से जूझते रहें इस बात से अरविंद जी को बेहद पीड़ा हुई है अरविंद जी ने मुझे एक बात और कही इस सो कॉल शराब घोटाले की जांच में ईडी ने पिछले दो साल में 250 से ज्यादा रेट बांध लिए वो इस सो कॉल शराब घोटाले का पैसा ढूंढ रहे हैं अभी तक किसी भी रेड में एक पैसा नहीं मिला मनीष जी के यहां रेड मारी संजय सिंह जी के यहां रेड मारी सतीन जैन जी के यहां रेड मारी एक भी पैसा नहीं मिला हमारे यहां रेड मारी मात तिहत्तर हजार रुपये मिले तो वो इस सो कॉल शराब घोटाले का पैसा है कहां अरविंद जी ने कहा है कि इसका खुलासा वे 28 मार्च को कोर्ट के सामने करेंगे सारे देश को सच सच बताएंगे कि इस सो कॉल्ड शराब घोटाले का पैसा है कहां उसका सबूत भी देंगे अरविंद जी बहुत सच्चे देशभक्त निडर और साहसी व्यक्ति हैं उनकी लंबी आयु सेहत और सफलता की कामना करना उन्होंने कहा है मेरा वाइफ सुनीता केजरीवाल हु स्पीक्स अरविंद केजरीवाल वाइफ सुनीता केजरीवाल हु स्पीक्स सुनीता रीडिंग आउट फ्रॉम केजरीवाल मैसेज टू हर फ्रॉम लॉका रिमेंबर केजरीवाल is going to be in custody until the 29th of march at this point you have protests large scale protests by the aam aadmi party many of them wearing kejriwal's masks who've launched this agitation in delhi 
and ask, demanding that Kejriwal be released, claiming that this arrest is illegal. And the big question here that Aap and Kejriwal's wife, Kejriwal himself, asking where is the proceeds of the crime? Now, be sure that the ED has established their approvers' uh, testimonies and what they have said as statements, basis on which the ED has asked for Kejriwal to be taken into custody. Now, largely, the proceeds of the crime has not been detected. Uh, the money trail so far has not been identified. But it appears that the ED has other substantial evidence to suggest that has been he hectic and extensive communication between the South Cartel and the Ahmadmi Party in Delhi uh, to, to establish a policy in favour of some liquor barons in exchange for big bribe money. Now, Amit Bharadwaj, our correspondent, joining us live for more on that. Amit, uh, Arvind Kejriwal's wife, Sunita Kejriwal, yet again coming out with a message she says has been conveyed to her by Arvind Kejriwal. Tell us a little more, uh, again, harping on the fact that there is not a single rupee that the ED has found, a mere 73,000 that they got from his home. Nabila, on one side, Arvind Kejriwal's wife, Sunita Kejriwal, held a press conference saying that not a single penny has been recovered from Aam Aadmi Party leaders, including the national convener of Aam Aadmi Party, and that Arvind Kejriwal is going to make big expose tomorrow in the court about the money trail related to the alleged liquor scam. On the other side, there's mega drama unfolding in Delhi Vidhan Sabha. It's a face-off between the BJP and Aam Aadmi Party MLAs. And the AAP MLAs are wearing masks of Arvind Kejriwal with T-shirts of Mabhi Kejriwal. And if you zoom in, when Mridul will zoom in the camera, Modi ka sabse bada dar Kejriwal, these T-shirts are being uh, used by AAP MLAs on the ground. And it was, it has turned out in a situation where the BJP and AAP MLAs are in face of We are joined by Kuldeep Kumar. Kuldeep, uh, ye mask hai chahre pe, T-shirt mein Arvind Kejriwal ki chavi और फेस ऑफ की स्थिति ये क्यों हो रहा है देखिए भाजपा ने अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को शरण के तहत जेल में डालने का काम किया एक ऐसे व्यक्ति के बयान पे जिससे भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने 60 करोड़ का चंदा लेकर उसे उसे बेल देने का काम किया देश के सामने भारतीय जनता पार्टी का मोदी जी का खुलासा हो चुका है और दिल्ली के लोकप्रिय मुख्यमंत्री को जेल में डालने का काम किया इस देश के इतिहास में पहली बार ऐसा हुआ है सिटिंग मुख्यमंत्री को जेल में रखने का काम कर रही भारतीय जनता पार्टी मोदी जी करने का काम कर रहे हैं देश के लोग जवाब देंगे और देश के लोग निकल चुके हैं कि मैं भी केजरीवाल हूँ मुझे भी जेल में डालो केजरीवाल जी ने अभी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस की वो कह रहे हैं कि कल अरविंद केजरीवाल एक बड़ा खुलासा करेंगे कोर्ट के अंदर मनी ट्रेल को लेकर बिल्कुल होगा एक खुलासा तो हो चुका है देश में कि कैसे उस अप्रूवर से भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने साठ करोड़ रूपए लिए रेड्डी से लेने का सर रेड्डी से लेने का काम किया जो उसमें मेन अप्रूवर था तो आज देश से खुलासा हो चुका है कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी चंदा चोर है और अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को फंसाने के लिए कितने षडयंत्र रचने का काम किया दिल्ली के लोग अपने बेटे अपने भाई अरविंद केजरीवाल साथ खड़े हुए और भारतीय जनता पार्टी की आज दुनिया भर के अंदर थूतू हो रही है मोदी जी ने सोचा था ये सरकार गिर जाएगी सरकार तो चल गई पार्टी खत्म हो जाएगी पार्टी तो चल गई और दिल्ली के लोग आज अरविंद केजरीवाल साथ खड़े हो गए देश के लोग साथ खड़े हो गए आज में कुलदीप Kumar making that big uh, uh, claim, but we are also getting you the visuals, uh, Nabila, from Delhi Vidhan Sabha complex, where a face-off situation has unfolded. On this side are the AAP MLAs, and uh, on my right-hand side are the BJP MLAs. So protest versus protest in the national capital. You know, hangama versus hangama in the national capital. On one side, the AAP MLAs uh, raising slogan in favour of Arvind Kejriwal. On the other. Side, Side, uh, the uh, BJP MLAs holding placards in their hands, uh, seeking resignation of Parvind Kejwal. We are joined by Ajay Mahavar of the BJP. Protest versus protest, app versus BJP, even in the assembly uh, complex. Nishit Roop se, Dilli ke roj marra ke kaam thap ho gaya hai. Arvind Kejriwal ED ki custody mein hai. Unhe turant istifa dena chahiye. Dilli mein sambedhanik sankat khada ho gaya hai. Ab wo jo jo jhooti chitthi alik lik karke, जो कि ईडी की कस्टडी में लिखी नहीं जा सकती दिल्ली को झूठ परोसने का काम हो रहा है विक्टिम कार्ड खेलने का काम हो रहा है लेकिन अरविंद केजरीवाल में एक अंश भी नैतिकता बाकी नहीं रह गई है सत्ता से चिपक के रहना चाहते हैं सत्ता लुलता दिख रही है आधार पर आप लोग इस्तीफा मांग रहे हैं क्यों कह रहे हैं कि कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल क्राइसिस हो गई है क्योंकि आज तक भारत के लोकतंत्र के इतिहास में कोई ऐसा मिनिस्टर या चीफ मिनिस्टर नहीं मिला जो कैद रहते हुए जिसको ईडी ने रिमांड पे लिया है जिसके खिलाफ कोर्ट ने ऑर्डर किया है 
वो अपने आप को मुख्यमंत्री बनाए रखने का कोशिश जो हो रहा है यही क्राइसिस है लेकिन आपकी तरफ से तर्क दिया जा रहा है कि बीजेपी का ये तो फिर स्टैंडर्ड प्रोटोकॉल बन जाएगा कि झारखंड के मुख्यमंत्री को गिरफ्तार करो वहाँ की सरकार को डिस्टेबलाइज करो दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री को गिरफ्तार करो सरकार डिस्टेबलाइज करो इन आरोपों का खंडन कैसे करेंगे आप सवाल ये है कि हमने तो ऑर्डर नहीं दिया है ना केजरीवाल जी को गिरफ्तार करने का ऑर्डर कोर्ट ने दिया है अगर इनके केस में दम होता तो ये कोर्ट से बेल लेके आते ना कोर्ट इनको रिलीफ देती है अगर कोर्ट रिलीफ नहीं दे रही है तो प्राइमा फैसी वो भ्रष्टाचारी साबित हो रहे हैं उनके ऊपर बहुत घिनौना अपराध है बहुत ही उनके करतूतों के बारे में कोर्ट ने डिटेल में डिस्कस किया है तो उनका नैतिक आधार नहीं बनता मतलब ये कह रहे हैं कि रिलीफ नहीं मिला इसलिए जो है गिरफ्तारी हुई हाँ। कोर्ट ने ऑर्डर तो नहीं दिया था लेकिन रिलीफ नहीं दिया था। रिलीफ नहीं देना ही ये कहना है कि आप में कुछ ना कुछ सच्चाई है जांच की आवश्यकता है।, है ये तख्तियाँ लेके आप लोग पूरे दिन अब इसी तरह से यहाँ पे आंदोलन कर तो पिछले चार दिन ऐसी सड़कों पर संघर्ष कर रहे हैं और आगे भी करते रहेंगे हम चैन से नहीं बैठने वाले क्योंकि दिल्ली की जनता निराश है हताश है उदास है कि मुख्यमंत्री सभा कैंपेन में भी ये इशू होने वाला है लोकसभा कैंपेन में ये इशू पहले से था कि दिल्ली सरकार ने कुछ नहीं किया आप देखिए कितना हास्यास्पद है कि मुख्यमंत्री जी जब बाहर थे तब कभी उन्होंने सीवर की बात नहीं की पानी की बात नहीं की कभी भी कैबिनेट की मीटिंग इस इशू पे नहीं बुलाए और एक झूठा रुआनी आंसुओं से चिट्ठी लिख के भेज रहे हैं कहीं ना कहीं दिल्ली की जनता को बेवकूफ बना जवाल की पत्नी ने प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस किया वो कह रही हैं कि कल जो है वो आप खुलासा करेंगे कोर्ट के अंदर करें ना खुलासा हम कह रहे हैं आपके तथ्यों में दम है आपके तथ्यों में दम है तो आप आइए ना कोर्ट जब विधानसभा अध्यक्ष जी ने हमें बाहर निकाला तो हम कोर्ट गए ना वहाँ से रिलीफ लेके आए बीजेपी एम एल एंग इट्स अ कोर्ट वे यू विल गेट रिलीफ ऑन दर साइड यू जस्ट सॉ एस वा वॉट ट्रांसपाइड इन फ्रंट ऑफ आर कैमराज इन फ्रंट ऑफ द बीजेपी एम एल एस दी आप एम एल एस के फेस ऑफ विच इज स्टिल अनफोल्डिंग स्टिल 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 अभी भी हम जा रहे हैं पीछे आ रहे हैं ये लोग ये सिर्फ झगड़ा करना चाह रहे हैं ये चाहते नहीं है कि सच्चाई सामने आए गेट यू दिकेंड विजुअल एज वेल फेस ऑफ बिटवीन आप एम एल एज एंड बीजेपी एम एल एज इन द कॉरिडोर ऑफ डेली विधानसभा इट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग विजुअल सिर्फ यू कैन से दीस्ट अनफोल्डिंग इन द नेशनल कैपिटल राइट नाउ इट इज अ विधानसभा अनमोल बाली इज वेल अनमोल बाली इज ज्वाइनिंग अस विद बंच ऑफ द बीजेपी सपोर्टर्स प्रोटेस्टिंग अगेंस्ट केजरीवाल डिमांडिंग हिज रेजिग्नेशन एट दर्लीस्ट अनमोल ओवर टू यू And more Levina, some minutes us. ago, it was seen that after meeting right. the Delhi Police Chief Sanjay, Nabila, it was seen that uh, some minutes ago after meeting the Delhi Police Chief Sanjay Arora, Varinder Sajdeva, the Delhi Chief of uh, BJP Chief of Delhi Unit came here with hundreds of uh, Bharti Janata Party workers to protest against the Amadi Party as well as CM Arvind Kejriwal because it was seen last week CM Arvind Kejriwal was arrested by the Enforcement Director into the alleged liquor scam and after that the politics in the national capital have started boiling and today Amadi Party and Delhi government has also called a special session of Delhi Vidhan. सभा कीपिंग दैट इन माइंड अराउंड हंड्रेड ऑफ भारतीय जनता पार्टी वर्कर्स इन ब्लैक क्लोथ एंड हैविंग ब्लैक फ्लैग इन देर हैंड गैदर्ड हेयर दे प्रोटेस्टेड आउटसाइड द डेली लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली दे आर स्लोगनरिंग अगेंस्ट द आम आदमी पार्टी एज वेल एज देर दे आर सेंग दैट सी एम अरविंद केजरीवाल इस्तीफा दो मुख्यमंत्री इस्तीफा दो बिफोर कमिंग टू लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली वरिंदर सचदेवा विद मैनी बीजेपी वर्कर्स मेट डेली पुलिस चीफ एंड ही गेव Uh, them a complaint to investigate into the matter where it was seen that CM Arvind Kejriwal recently has uh, twice issued order from the ED custody and this has also escalated the politics now BJP has also opened the morcha against the Aam Aadmi Party into this matter and there uh, they have asked Delhi police to investigate this and now the many of the workers have been detained and now they are being taken to the police station Nabila right well stay with us Anmol uh, and Amish both of them bringing us the protest shots right from the central parts of delhi the bjp protesting on one side and on the other you have right outside the delhi assembly aam aadmi party netas protesting against arvind kejriwal's arrest the uh, assembly session a uh, first that happened that begins today going to be quite a heated fiery one on that note i'm slipping into 
big news that's coming at the moment that we got across. CBI to see Kejriwal's custody next. Big development coming in as the CBI had initially filed a case of uh, corruption in Delhi liquor policy uh, case itself. Arvind Kejriwal's ED custody that ends today. We hear CBI to take up a request to take Arvind Kejriwal into custody next. ED to seek an extension of Kejriwal's custody. CBI to seek custody right after ED remand ends. CBI to be seeking Arvind Kejriwal's custody right after ED custody is over. And ED will likely produce Arvind Kejriwal tomorrow, 28th of March, as his remand date ends. And they're, of course, likely to seek an extension. At this point, we hear even CBI seeking Arvind Kejriwal's custody right after ED remand ends. I'm cutting across to Munish joining us, tracking very closely the ED and the CBI. Uh, Munish, give us more details on the CBI uh, wanting to take Arvind Kejriwal into custody as well for questioning. Uh, we do know that the CBI's case was what, what ED took after. Tell us more on what CBI so far has found in the case two years into investigation. Well, Nabila, as far as Central Bureau of Investigation is concerned, CBI was the first agency to lodge an FIR in this case, and after that, uh, ED started a money laundering investigation. Now, as far as the strategy of uh, CBI is concerned, what they are planning that uh, they will be filing an application before the court to seek custody of Arvind Kejriwal, and if it happens, then it is going to be a huge, uh, um, uh, you know, trouble for Arvind Kejriwal, because remember, the strategy of our Aadmi Party is to get Arvind Kejriwal out on bail. But if CBI arrests him, so first he has to spend almost 8 to 10 days in CBI custody, and later he has to seek bail in CBI case also. As far as ED is concerned, what they are claiming is tomorrow his custody is getting over, he will be produced before the court, and ED will be asking for further custody of Arvind Kejriwal. And they are uh, expecting that at least for next 3-4 days, uh, Arvind Kejriwal will be in ED custody. And after the ED custody is over, soon the Central Bureau of Investigation is confident of taking Arvind Kejriwal in their custody and it is going to be a huge hurdle for Arvind Kejriwal in the excise policy case. Nabila. You know, when you say huge hurdle for Arvind Kejriwal, one should know that the ED has already stated in court that Arvind Kejriwal could be the kingpin. That's a massive allegation levelled against a sitting chief minister. Kejriwal has refused to resign. Ahmadmi party ministers say he will run the government while seated, while seated in prison. Uh, so, really big developments coming in with no sight of relief for Arvind Kejriwal here. Yeah, of course, Nabila, because remember, you know, uh, we saw how Manish Sisodia was arrested by the Central Bureau of Investigation and later the ED took over the custody of uh, Manish Sisodia. And it has been more than one year he has not got bail. As far as Arvind Kejriwal is concerned, the allegations by the Enforcement Directorate are very serious against uh, the Chief Minister. And the Central Bureau of Investigation we have been given to understand is that CBI is all set to name Arvind Kejriwal as accused in their next charge sheet. And if that happens, then again, it is going to be, uh, uh, it is going to be problematic for Arvind Kejriwal because uh, CBI mentioning Arvind Kejriwal as accused Uh, which will be filing a charge sheet for criminal conspiracy uh, in this case. So, of course, uh, you know, uh, Arvind Kejriwal's strategy is to get out on bail and while he is in jail to run the government. But everyone knows that it is not going to be a smooth run for Arvind Kejriwal because as a chief minister, you need to sign on certain important files. You need to take some quick decisions. You need to me meet your cabinet. All these things will not be easy for Arvind Kejriwal while he is in ED custody or CBI custody and for that matter even if he's in jail. So of course trouble seems to be mounting for him. For now the ED and CBI, both of them, both these agencies want uh, Arvind Kejriwal in their custody. Alright. Now you have the kind of protests that are ensuing. You know, uh, Ahmadmi Party Neta say that Arvind Kejriwal will not resign. He will continue as the Chief Minister from custody. Is it even possible for uh, a, a, a suspect to be 
running a government while seated in prison. There was a lot of talk that he has signed some documents, he's given orders to the health department and others. Uh, the BJP cries foul, saying it's false. We heard ED wanted to get into investigating forgery here. Uh, give us more on that. Is it possible for Kejriwal to run a government while seated in custody? Well, Nabila Arvind Kejriwal is a chief minister and he knows his political game and that is why we are seeing that uh, the AAP supporters, the AAP uh, members, they are on road and they want to gain sympathy for this arrest of Arvind Kejriwal and that is why we are seeing protests all across the national capital. But as far as the rules and regulations are concerned, as a chief minister, if he is in jail, a particular area can be designated as a, a camp office of the chief minister and he can run the government. But again, as I said, it is not going to be a smooth run for Arvind Kejriwal because for every single thing, you need to go to court, you need to seek permission and then only a person can meet you. Even to sign an order, you need uh, court permission. So all those things are going to be extremely difficult. But as far as Aam Admi Party is concerned, their strategy is very simple. Keep Arvind Kejriwal as Chief Minister. We saw how in ED custody there was a narrative built by uh, the Aam Admi Party that while he was in ED custody, he passed two orders. Whereas the Enforcement Directorate uh, officials are saying that it is absolutely impossible that Arvind Kejriwal can sign on any documents. As far as Arvind Kejriwal is concerned, we have seen that the AAP members are saying that you know Arvind Kejriwal will remain the Chief Minister because this is what the um, uh, public, the voters of Delhi want. As far as uh, you know, the party is concerned, they are also looking at uh, you know um, a possibility that once Arvind Kejriwal is in jail, how they can run the government smoothly and we can uh, we can expect that in coming days there will be application filed on behalf of uh, Arvind Kejriwal, Aam Admi Party for court permission to designate an area in Tihar jail so that a camp office can be built and uh, later Arvind Kejriwal can run his government from the jail. But again, I said, as I said, it is not going to be a smooth run for the Aam Admi Party and Arvind Kejriwal. All right, uh, Manish, well, it's going to be quite a tough task for Arvind Kejriwal at this point to, uh, to come out of prison, at least before Lok Sabha elections. You have the CBI wanting his custody right after ED remand ends. So far, uh, we know that the ED will be bringing him to court tomorrow as it ends. Their remand ends. They are likely to seek an extension right after that. The CBI wanting to step in. So it, it, it seems like a web of allegations, which will be quite a Herculean task for the council of Arvind Kejriwal at this point to bring him out maybe before Lok Sabha elections. Barely three weeks now to go for Lok Sabha to begin. 19th of April that um, the elections begin. And for the Aam Aadmi Party, their party convener, the face of the AAP, their star campaigner, Arvind Kejriwal, who started off as an anti-corruption crusader, is currently in prison on charges of corruption. Now, thanks very much, Manish, for joining us. I'm going to shift our focus to big story coming in from Karnataka. Co-presented by Aapka Joy, Bharat Ka Joy, Joy E-Bike. Co-presented by Green Lamb Lamin. Aapke CM par case kar diya. Kya ye log Dilli ko tabha karna chaate hain? Kya ye log chaate hain ki log apni samasyaon se juzte rahe? Is baat se Arvind ji ko behat peeda ho ye. Arvind ji ne mujhe ek baat aur kahi. Is so-called charaab ghutale ki jaanj mein. ईडी ने पिछले दो साल में 250 से ज्यादा रेड पार लिए वो इस सो कॉल्ड शराब घोटाले का पैसा ढूंढ रहे हैं अभी तक किसी भी रेड में एक पैसा नहीं मिला मनीष जी के यहां रेड मारी संजय सिंह जी के यहां रेड मारी सतीन जैन जी के यहां रेड मारी एक भी पैसा नहीं मिला हमारे यहां रेड मारी मात तिहत्तर हजार रुपए मिले तो वो इस सो कॉल्ड शराब घोटाले का पैसा है कहा अरविंद जी ने कहा है कि इसका खुलासा वे 28 मार्च को कोर्ट के सामने करेंगे सारे देश को सच सच बताएंगे कि इस सो कॉल्ड शराब घोटाले का पैसा है कहा उसका सबूत भी देंगे 
अरविंद जी बहुत सच्चे देशभक्त निडर और साहसी व्यक्ति हैं उनकी लंबी आयु सेहत और सफलता की कामना करना उन्होंने कहा है मेरा शरीर जेल में है लेकिन आत्मा आप सब के बीच है आंखें बंद करो मुझे अपने आसपास महसूस करोगे जय हिंद All right, that's Sunita Kejriwal, Arvind Kejriwal's wife, who asks. In, these are words of Arvind Kejriwal. She says, "This is what Arvind Kejriwal has conveyed to her, which she wants to convey uh, to the people." She says that Kejriwal has asked, "What exactly has he done? What is his fault that he will come out clean?" Arvind Kejriwal is in jail, but is with you. these are words of arun kejriwal conveyed to sunita kejriwal his wife as she addresses a press conference saying that only 73000 has been recovered from our home when ed raided our home arun kejriwal will tell the entire nation where is the money for this so called liquor scam arun kejriwal is a patriot wish for his health please pray for his health these are words of arun kejriwal conveyed to sunita kejriwal who's just given out this message to the people of anmadi aadmi party and the supporters of kejriwal the people of delhi the state that aap governs this is a message from kejriwal via sunita kejriwal let's hear it once again kal sham mein jail mein arvind ji se milne gayi unhe diabetes hai sugar level theek nahi chal rahe लेकिन निश्चय दृढ़ है दो दिन पहले उन्होंने दिल्ली की जल मंत्री आतिशी जी को संदेश भेजा था कि लोगों के पानी और सीवर की समस्याओं का समाधान किया जाए बताइए क्या गलत किया लोगों की समस्याओं का समाधान तो होना ही चाहिए इस बात पर भी केंद्र सरकार ने आपके सीएम पर केस कर दिया क्या ये लोग दिल्ली को तबाह करना चाहते हैं क्या ये लोग चाहते हैं कि लोग अपनी समस्याओं से जूझते रहें? इस बात से अरविंद जी को बेहद पीड़ा हुई है अरविंद जी ने मुझे एक बात और कही इस सो कॉल्ड शराब घोटाले की जांच में ईडी ने पिछले दो साल में 250 से ज्यादा रेट पाड़ लिए वो इस सो कॉल्ड शराब घोटाले का पैसा ढूंढ रहे हैं अभी तक किसी भी रेड में एक पैसा नहीं मिला मनीष जी के यहां रेड मारी संजय सिंह जी के यहां रेड मारी सतीन जैन जी के यहां रेड मारी एक भी पैसा नहीं मिला हमारे यहां रेड मारी मात्र तिहत्तर हजार रुपये मिले तो वो इस सो कॉल्ड शराब घोटाले का पैसा है कहां अरविंद जी ने कहा है कि इसका खुलासा वे 28 मार्च को कोर्ट के सामने करेंगे सारे देश को सच सच बताएंगे कि इस सो कॉल्ड शराब घोटाले का पैसा है कहां उसका सबूत भी देंगे अरविंद जी बहुत सच्चे देशभक्त निडर और साहसी व्यक्ति हैं उनकी लंबी आयु सेहत और सफलता की कामना करना उन्होंने कहा है मेरा वाइफ सुनीता केजरीवाल हु स्पीक्स Arvind Kejriwal's wife Sunita Kejriwal who speaks Sunita reading out from Kejriwal's message to her from Lokka Remember Kejriwal is going to be in custody until the 29th of March at this point you have protests large scale protests by the Aam Aadmi Party many of them wearing Kejriwal's masks who've launched this agitation in Delhi and us demanding that kejriwal be released claiming that this arrest is illegal and the big question here that aap and kejriwal's wife kejriwal himself asking where is the proceeds of the crime now 
be sure that the ED has established their approvers' uh, testimonies and what they have said as statements, basis on which the ED has asked for Kejriwal to be taken into custody. Now, largely, the proceeds of the crime has not been detected. Uh, the money trail so far has not been identified, but it appears that the ED has other substantial evidence to suggest that has been he hectic and extensive communication between the South Cartel and the Ahmadmi Party in Delhi uh, to, to establish a policy in favour of some liquor barons in exchange for big bribe money. Now, Amit Bharadwaj, our correspondent, joining us live for more on that. Amit, uh, Arvind Kejriwal's wife, Sunita Kejriwal, yet again coming out with a message she says has been conveyed to her by Arvind Kejriwal. Tell us a little more, uh, again, harping on the fact that there is not a single rupee that the ED has found, a mere 73,000 that they got from his home. Nabila, on one side, Arvind Kejriwal's wife, Sunita Kejriwal, held a press conference saying that not a single penny has been recovered from Aam Aadmi Party leaders, including the national convener of Aam Aadmi Party, and that Arvind Kejriwal is going to make big expose tomorrow in the court about the money trail related to the alleged liquor scam. On the other side, there's mega drama unfolding in Delhi with Aan Sabha. It's a face-off between the BJP and Aam Aadmi Party MLAs. And the AAP MLAs are wearing masks of Arvind Kejriwal with T-shirts of Mai Bhi Kejriwal. And if you zoom in, when Mridul will zoom in the camera, Modi ka sabse bada dar Kejriwal, these T-shirts are being uh, used by AAP MLAs on the ground. And it was, it has turned out in a situation where the BJP and AAP MLAs are in face of We are joined by Kuldeep Kumar. Kuldeep, uh, ye mask hai chahre pe, T-shirt mein Arvind Kejriwal ki chavi और फेस ऑफ की स्थिति ये क्यों हो रहा है देखिए भाजपा ने अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को शरण के तहत जेल में डालने का काम किया एक ऐसे व्यक्ति के बयान पे जिससे भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने 60 करोड़ का चंदा लेकर उसे उसे बेल देने का काम किया देश के सामने भारतीय जनता पार्टी का मोदी जी का खुलासा हो चुका है और दिल्ली के लोकप्रिय मुख्यमंत्री को जेल में डालने का काम किया इस देश के इतिहास में पहली बार ऐसा हुआ है सिटिंग मुख्यमंत्री को जेल में रखने का काम कर रहे भारतीय जनता पार्टी मोदी जी करने का काम कर रहे देश के लोग जवाब देंगे और देश के लोग निकल चुके हैं कि मैं भी केजरीवाल हूं मुझे भी जेल में डालो केजरीवाल जी ने अभी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस की वो कह रहे हैं कि कल अरविंद केजरीवाल एक बड़ा खुलासा करेंगे कोर्ट के अंदर मनी ट्रेल को लेकर बिल्कुल होगा एक खुलासा तो हो चुका है देश में कि कैसे उस अप्रूवर से भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने 60 करोड़ रुपए लिए रेड्डी से लेने का सरद रेड्डी से लेने का काम किया जो उसमें मेन अप्रूवर था तो आज देश का खुलासा हो चुका है कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी चंदा चोर है और अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को फंसाने के लिए कितने षड्यंत्र रचने का काम किया दिल्ली के लोग अपने बेटे अपने भाई अरविंद केजरीवाल साथ खड़े हुए और भारतीय जनता पार्टी की आज दुनिया भर के अंदर थूतू हो रही है मोदी जी ने सोचा था ये सरकार गिर जाएगी सरकार तो चल गई पार्टी खत्म हो जाएगी पार्टी तो चल गई और दिल्ली के लोग आज अरविंद केजरीवाल साथ खड़े हो गए देश के लोग साथ खड़े हो गए आज भी कुलदीप Kumar making that big uh, uh, claim, but we are also getting you the visuals, uh, Nabila, from Delhi Vidhan Sabha complex, where a face-off situation has unfolded. On this side are the AAP MLAs, and uh, on my right-hand side are the BJP MLAs. So protest versus protest in the national capital, you know, hangama versus hangama in the national capital. On one side, the AAP MLAs uh, raising slogan in favor of Arvind Kejriwal. On the other side, uh, the uh, BJP MLAs holding placards in their hands, uh, seeking the resignation of Arvind Kejriwal. We are joined by Ajay Mahavar of the BJP. Protest versus protest, AAP versus BJP, even in the assembly uh, complex. Nishit Roop se... दिल्ली के रोजमर्रा के काम ठप हो गए हैं अरविंद केजरीवाल ईडी की कस्टडी में हैं उन्हें तुरंत इस्तीफा देना चाहिए दिल्ली में संवैधानिक संकट खड़ा हो गया है अब वो जो जो झूठी चिट्ठियां लिख लिख करके जो कि ईडी की कस्टडी में लिखी नहीं जा सकती दिल्ली को झूठ परोसने का काम हो रहा है विक्टिम कार्ड खेलने का काम हो रहा है लेकिन अरविंद केजरीवाल में एक अंश भी नैतिकता बाकी नहीं रह गई है सत्ता से चिपक के रहना चाहते हैं सत्ता लुलता दिख रही है आधार पर आप लोग इस्तीफा मांग रहे हैं क्यों कह रहे हैं कि कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल क्राइसिस हो गई है क्योंकि आज तक भारत के लोकतंत्र के इतिहास में कोई ऐसा मिनिस्टर या चीफ मिनिस्टर नहीं मिला जो कैद रहते हुए जिसको ईडी ने रिमांड पे लिया जिसके खिलाफ कोर्ट ने ऑर्डर किया है 
वो अपने आप को मुख्यमंत्री बनाए रखने का कोशिश जो हो रहा है यही क्राइसिस है लेकिन आपकी तरफ से तर्क दिया जा रहा है कि बीजेपी का ये तो फिर स्टैंडर्ड प्रोटोकॉल बन जाएगा कि झारखंड के मुख्यमंत्री को गिरफ्तार करो वहाँ की सरकार को डिस्टेबलाइज करो दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री को गिरफ्तार करो सरकार डिस्टेबलाइज करो इन आरोपों का खंडन कैसे करेंगे आप सवाल ये है कि हमने तो ऑर्डर नहीं दिया है ना केजरीवाल जी को गिरफ्तार करने का ऑर्डर कोर्ट ने दिया है अगर इनके केस में दम होता तो ये कोर्ट से बेल लेके आते ना कोर्ट इनको रिलीफ देती अगर कोर्ट रिलीफ नहीं दे रही है तो प्राइमा फैसी वो भ्रष्टाचारी साबित हो रहे हैं उनके ऊपर बहुत घिनौना अपराध है बहुत ही उनके करतूतों के बारे में कोर्ट ने डिटेल में डिस्कस किया है तो उनका नैतिक आधार नहीं बनता मतलब ये कह रहे हैं कि रिलीफ नहीं मिला इसलिए जो है गिरफ्तारी हुई हाँ। कोर्ट ने ऑर्डर तो नहीं दिया था लेकिन रिलीफ नहीं दिया था रिलीफ नहीं देना ही ये कहना है कि आप में कुछ ना कुछ सच्चाई है जांच की आवश्यकता है।, है ये तख्तियां लेके आप लोग पूरे दिन अब इसी तरह से यहाँ पे आंदोलन कर तो पिछले चार दिन से सड़कों पर संघर्ष कर रहे हैं और आगे भी करते रहेंगे हम चैन से नहीं बैठने वाले क्योंकि दिल्ली की जनता निराश है हताश है उदास है कि मुख्यमंत्री सभा कैंपेन में भी ये इशू होने वाला है लोकसभा कैंपेन में ये इशू पहले से था कि दिल्ली सरकार ने कुछ नहीं किया आप देखिए कितना हास्यास्पद है कि मुख्यमंत्री जी जब बाहर थे तब कभी उन्होंने सीवर की बात नहीं की पानी की बात नहीं की कभी भी कैबिनेट की मीटिंग इस इशू पे नहीं बुलाए और एक झूठा रुआनी आंसुओं से चिट्ठी लिख के भेज रहे हैं कहीं ना कहीं दिल्ली की जनता को बेवकूफ बना जवाल की पत्नी ने प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस किया वो कह रही हैं कि कल जो है वो आप खुलासा करेंगे कोर्ट के अंदर करें ना खुलासा हम कह रहे हैं आपके तथ्यों में दम है आपके तथ्यों में दम है तो आप आइए ना कोर्ट जब विधानसभा अध्यक्ष जी ने हमें बाहर निकाला तो हम कोर्ट गए ना वहाँ से रिलीफ लेके आए बीजेपी एम एल एंग इट्स कोर्ट वे यूल गेट रिलीफ ऑन दी अदर साइड यू जस्ट सो एस वा वॉट ट्रांसपाइड इन फ्रंट ऑफ आर कैमराज इन फ्रंट ऑफ द बीजेपी एम एल एस दी आप एम एल एस केम इट्स फेस ऑफ विच इज स्टिल अनफोल्डिंग स्टिल 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 वहाँ भी हम जा रहे हैं पीछे आ रहे हैं ये लोग ये सिर्फ झगड़ा करना चाह रहे हैं ये चाहते नहीं है कि सच्चाई सामने आए Get you the second visual as well. Face off between our MLAs and BJP MLAs in the corridors of Delhi Vidhan Sabha. It's an uh, interesting visual, if we can say the least, uh, unfolding in the national capital right now. It is a Vidhan Sabha uh, session. We're going to cross to Anmol Bali as well. Anmol Bali is joining us with a bunch of the BJP uh, supporters protesting against Kejriwal, demanding his resignation at the earliest. Anmol, over to you. And more than 10 minutes ago, it was seen that after meeting right. the Delhi Police Chief Sanjay, Nabila, it was seen that uh, some minutes ago after meeting the Delhi Police Chief Sanjay Arora, Varendra Sajdeva, the Delhi Chief of uh, BJP Chief of Delhi Unit came here with hundreds of uh, Bharti Janata Party workers to protest against the Amadi Party as well as CM Arvind Kejriwal because it was seen last week CM Arvind Kejriwal was arrested by the Enforcement Director into the alleged liquor scam and after that the politics in the national capital have started boiling and today Amadi Party and Delhi government has also called a special session of Delhi Vidhan. Sabha, keeping that in mind, around hundreds of Bharatiya Janata Party workers in black clothes and having black flags in their hand gathered here. They protested outside the Delhi Legislative Assembly. They were sloganing against the Aam Aadmi Party as well as they, they were. They are saying that CM Arvind Kejriwal is Tifa do, Mukhya Mantri is Tifa do. Uh, Before coming to Legislative Assembly, Virender Sachin Deva with many BJP workers met Delhi Police Chief and he gave. Uh, them a complaint to investigate into the matter where it was seen that CM Arvind Kejriwal recently has uh, twice issued order from the ED custody and this has also escalated the politics. Now BJP has also opened the morcha against uh, the Aam Aadmi Party into this matter and there uh, they have asked Delhi Police to investigate this uh, and now the many of the workers have been detained and now they are uh, being taken to the police station. Nabila. Right. Well, stay with us, Anmol uh, and Amish. both of them bringing us the protest shots right from the central parts of delhi the bjp protesting on one side and on the other you have right outside the delhi assembly aam aadmi party netas protesting against arvind kejriwal's arrest uh, assembly session a uh, first that happened that begins today going to be quite a heated fiery one on that note i'm slipping into 
big news that's coming at the moment that we got across. CBI to seek Kejriwal's custody next. Big development coming in as the CBI had initially filed a case of uh, corruption in Delhi liquor policy uh, case itself. Arvind Kejriwal's ED custody that ends today. We hear CBI to take up a request to take Arvind Kejriwal into custody next. ED to seek an extension of Kejriwal's custody. CBI to seek custody right after ED remand ends. CBI to be seeking Arvind Kejriwal's custody right after ED custody is over. And ED will likely produce Arvind Kejriwal tomorrow, 28th of March, as his remand date ends. And they're, of course, likely to seek an extension. At this point, we hear even CBI seeking Arvind Kejriwal's custody right after ED remand ends. I'm cutting across to Munish joining us, tracking very closely the ED and the CBI. Uh, Munish, give us more details on the CBI uh, wanting to take Arvind Kejriwal into custody as well for questioning. Uh, we do know that the CBI's case was what, what what ED took after. Tell us more on what CBI so far has found in the case two years into investigation. Well, Nabila, as far as Central Bureau of Investigation is concerned, CBI was the first agency to lodge an FIR in this case and after that, uh, ED started a money laundering investigation. Now, as far as the strategy of uh, CBI is concerned, what they are planning that uh, they will be filing an application before the court to seek custody of Arvind Kejriwal and if it happens then it is going to be a huge uh, um, uh, you know trouble for Arvind Kejriwal because remember the strategy of Aam Aadmi Party is to get Arvind Kejriwal out on bail but if CBI arrests him so first he has to spend almost 8 to 10 days in CBI custody and later he has to seek bail in CBI case also as far as ED is concerned what they are claiming is tomorrow his custody is getting over he will be produced before the court and ED will be asking for further custody of Arvind Kejriwal and they are uh, expecting that at least for next 3 4 days uh, Arvind Kejriwal will be in ED custody and after the ED custody is over soon the Central Bureau of Investigation is confident of taking Arvind Kejriwal in their custody and it is going to be a huge hurdle for Arvind Kejriwal in the excise policy case. Nabila. You know when you say huge hurdle for Arvind Kejriwal one should know that the ED has already stated in court that Arvind Kejriwal could be the kingpin. That's a massive allegation levelled against a sitting chief minister. Kejriwal has refused to resign. Aam Aadmi Party ministers say he will run the government while seated, while seated in prison. Uh, so, really big developments coming in with no sight of relief for Arvind Kejriwal here. Yeah, of course, Nabila, because remember, you know, uh, we saw how Manish Sodia was arrested by the Central Bureau of Investigation and later the ED took over the custody of uh, Manish Sodia. And it has been more than one year he has not got bail. As far as Arvind Kejriwal is concerned, the allegations by the Enforcement Directorate are very serious against uh, the Chief Minister. And the Central Bureau of Investigation we have been given to understand is that CBI is all set to name Arvind Kejriwal as accused in their next charge sheet. And if that happens, then again, it is going to be, uh, um, it is going to be problematic for Arvind Kejriwal because uh, CBI mentioning Arvind Kejriwal as accused Uh, which will be filing a charge sheet for criminal conspiracy uh, in this case. So, of course, uh, you know, uh, Arvind Kejriwal's strategy is to get out on bail and while he is in jail to run the government, but everyone knows that it is not going to be a smooth run for Arvind Kejriwal because as a chief minister, you need to sign on certain important files, you need to take some quick decisions, you need to meet your cabinet. All these things will not be easy for Arvind Kejriwal while he is in ED custody or CBI custody and for that matter, even if he is in jail. So, of course, trouble seems to be mounting for him for now. The ED and CBI, both of them, both these agencies want uh, Arvind Kejriwal in their custody. All right. Now, you have the kind of protests that are ensuing. You know, uh, Ahmadi Party Neta say that Arvind Kejriwal will not resign. He will continue as the Chief Minister from custody. Is it even possible for uh, a, a suspect to be 
running a government while seated in prison. There was a lot of talk that he has signed some documents, he's given orders to the health department and others. Uh, the BJP cries foul, saying it's false. We heard ED wanted to get into investigating forgery here. Uh, give us more on that. Is it possible for Kejriwal to run a government while seated in custody? Well, Nabila Arvind Kejriwal is a chief minister and he knows his political game and that is why we are seeing that uh, the AAP supporters, the AAP uh, members, they are on road and they want to gain sympathy for this arrest of Arvind Kejriwal and that is why we are seeing protests all across the national capital. But as far as the rules and regulations are concerned, as a chief minister, if he is in jail, a particular area can be designated as a, a camp office of the chief minister and he can run the government. But again, as I said, it is not going to be a smooth run for Arvind Kejriwal because for every single thing, you need to go to court, you need to seek permission and then only a person can meet you. Even to sign an order, you need uh, court permission. So all those things are going to be extremely difficult. But as far as Aam Aadmi Party is concerned, their strategy is very simple. Keep Arvind Kejriwal as Chief Minister. We saw how in ED custody there was a narrative built by uh, the Aam Aadmi Party that while he was in ED custody he passed two orders. Whereas the Enforcement Directorate uh, officials are saying that it is absolutely impossible that Arvind Kejriwal can sign on any documents. As far as Arvind Kejriwal is concerned, we have seen that the AAP members are saying that you know Arvind Kejriwal will remain the Chief Minister because this is what the uh, uh, public, the voters of Delhi want. As far as uh, you know, the party is concerned, they are also looking at uh, you know um, a possibility that once Arvind Kejriwal is in jail, how they can run the government smoothly and we can uh, we can expect that in coming days there will be application filed on behalf of uh, Arvind Kejriwal, Aam Aadmi Party for court permission to designate an area in Tihar jail so that a camp office can be built and uh, later Arvind Kejriwal can run his government from the jail. But again, I said, as I said, it is not going to be a smooth run for the Aam Aadmi Party and Arvind Kejriwal. All right, uh, Manish, well, it's going to be quite a tough task for Arvind Kejriwal at this point to, uh, to come out of prison, at least before Lok Sabha elections. You have the CBI wanting his custody right after ED remand ends. So far, uh, we know that the ED will be bringing him to court tomorrow as it ends. Their remand ends. They are likely to seek an extension right after that. The CBI wanting to step in. So it, it, it seems like a web of allegations which will be quite a Herculean task for the council of Arvind Kejriwal at this point to bring him out maybe before Lok Sabha elections. Barely three weeks now to go for Lok Sabha to begin. 19th of April that um, the elections begin. And for the Aam Aadmi Party, their party convener, the face of the AAP, their star campaigner, Arvind Kejriwal, who started off as an anti-corruption crusader, is currently in... ...aapke CM par case kar diya. Kya ye log Dilli ko tabha karna chaate hain? Kya ye log chaate hain ki log apni samasyaon se juzte rahe? Is baat se Arvind ji ko behat peeda ho ye. Arvind ji ne mujhe ek baat aur kahi. इस सो कॉल्ड शराब घोटाले की जांच में ईडी ने पिछले दो साल में 250 से ज्यादा रेड पार लिए वो इस सो कॉल्ड शराब घोटाले का पैसा ढूंढ रहे हैं अभी तक किसी भी रेड में एक पैसा नहीं मिला मनीष जी के यहां रेड मारी संजय सिंह जी के यहां रेड मारी सतीन जैन जी के यहां रेड मारी एक भी पैसा नहीं मिला हमारे यहां रेड मारी मात तिहत्तर हजार रुपए मिले तो वो इस सो कॉल शराब घोटाले का पैसा है कहा अरविंद जी ने कहा है कि इसका खुलासा वे 28 मार्च को कोर्ट के सामने करेंगे सारे देश को सच सच बताएंगे कि इस सो कॉल शराब घोटाले का पैसा है कहा उसका सबूत भी देंगे अरविंद जी बहुत सच्चे देशभक्त निडर और साहसी व्यक्ति हैं उनकी लंबी आयु सेहत और सफलता की कामना करना 
उन्होंने कहा है मेरा शरीर जेल में है लेकिन आत्मा आप सब के बीच है आंखें बंद करो मुझे अपने आसपास महसूस करोगे जय हिंद All right that's Sunita Kejriwal Arvind Kejriwal's wife who asks in these are words of Arvind Kejriwal she says this is what Arvind Kejriwal has conveyed to her which she wants to convey uh, to the people she says that Kejriwal has asked what exactly has he done what is his fault that he will come out clean Arvind Kejriwal is in jail but is with you These are words of Arvind Kejriwal conveyed to Sunita Kejriwal his wife as she addresses a press conference saying that only 73000 has been recovered from our home when ED raided our home Arvind Kejriwal will tell the entire nation where is the money for this so called liquor scam Arvind Kejriwal is a patriot wish for his health please pray for his health these are words of Arvind Kejriwal conveyed to Sunita Kejriwal who's just given out this message to the people of Anmadi Aadmi Party and the supporters of Kejriwal the people of Delhi the state that aap governs this is a message from Kejriwal via Sunita Kejriwal let's hear it once again kal sham mein jail mein Arvind ji se milne gayi unhe diabetes hai sugar level theek nahi chal rahi लेकिन निश्चय दृढ़ है दो दिन पहले उन्होंने दिल्ली की जल मंत्री आतिशी जी को संदेश भेजा था कि लोगों के पानी और सीवर की समस्याओं का समाधान किया जाए बताइए क्या गलत किया लोगों की समस्याओं का समाधान तो होना ही चाहिए इस बात पर भी केंद्र सरकार ने आपके सीएम पर केस कर दिया क्या ये लोग दिल्ली को तबाह करना चाहते हैं क्या ये लोग चाहते हैं कि लोग अपनी समस्याओं से जूझते रहें? इस बात से अरविंद जी को बेहद पीड़ा हुई है अरविंद जी ने मुझे एक बात और कही इस सो कॉल्ड शराब घोटाले की जांच में ईडी ने पिछले दो साल में 250 से ज्यादा रेट पाल लिए वो इस सो कॉल्ड शराब घोटाले का पैसा ढूंढ रहे हैं अभी तक किसी भी रेड में एक पैसा नहीं मिला मनीष जी के यहां रेड मारी संजय सिंह जी के यहां रेड मारी सतीन जैन जी के यहां रेड मारी एक भी पैसा नहीं मिला हमारे यहां रेड मारी मात्र तिहत्तर हजार रुपये मिले तो वो इस सो कॉल शराब घोटाले का पैसा है कहा अरविंद जी ने कहा है कि इसका खुलासा वे 28 मार्च को कोर्ट के सामने करेंगे सारे देश को सच सच बताएंगे कि इस सो कॉल्ड शराब घोटाले का पैसा है कहा उसका सबूत भी देंगे अरविंद जी बहुत सच्चे देशभक्त निडर और साहसी व्यक्ति हैं उनकी लंबी आयु सेहत और सफलता की कामना करना उन्होंने कहा है मेरा वाइफ सुनीता केजरीवाल हु स्पीक्स Arvind Kejriwal's wife Sunita Kejriwal who speaks Sunita reading out from Kejriwal's message to her from Lokka Remember Kejriwal is going to be in custody until the 29th of March at this point you have protests large scale protests by the Aam Aadmi Party many of them wearing Kejriwal's masks who have launched this agitation in Delhi and us demanding that kejriwal be released claiming that this arrest is illegal and the big question here that aap and kejriwal's wife kejriwal himself asking where is the proceeds of the crime now be sure that the ed has established the approvers uh, testimonies and what they have said as statements basis on 